Welcome to ProshaPrinters.org, our brand new community website with a Motlo database that also has ready-to-print G-codes for original Prusa printers. There's a world map of other members around you, our blog and a community forum. Before we go through all of the features, this is how you might remember the page. Joe launched it back in 2015 when the farm had just about 16 printers and we were about to release the original Prusa i3 kit. This new version is essentially an evolution of that page that we've been working on for almost two years. Arguably the most important feature of Prusa printers is on the World tab. The 3D printing community is active all around the world, but it can be really difficult to connect locally. With our new community map, you can tag if you want to help out other folks with their 3D printer, print on demand or just hang out together. Reaching out to others that love 3D printing has never been easier. And we plan to expand this functionality in the future. And it makes much more sense when you're logged in. So let's start with that. First you enter your email address and set up a password. If you also use the same email address on our eShop and on the forum, it will merge all of the accounts. So from now on, you'll be able to log in to all of them with just one account. You confirm the registration by clicking on the link in the email. First you enter your nickname, your real name, which won't be publicly displayed, a short bio, and then here's where it gets interesting. What you choose here will be visible on the map, and of course you can change this later. It's handy to list the languages you speak, I'm going to pick English, and check, and the printers you own. I'll choose the Mark 3 S. Then you can choose to share either your exact location, for example if you run a workshop and you want people to know where to find you. Or you can share just an approximate location, like a street or a neighborhood where you run your printer. Ok, and then we are done with the registration. When it comes to the services that you offer, like the print on demand job, it's entirely up to you how you handle your reward. We just let other users find you, see what you offer and contact you if they're interested. If the model you ask someone to print isn't already on Prusa printers, you can use for example WeTransfer to share the model file and PayPal for the payment. In the future we'll implement these functions directly into the messenger. Ok, next up there's the Prints tab. And it's not just another model database. Since we have over 100,000 original Prusa printers in the wild that are very similar hardware-wise, we decided to let users upload G-codes. So with many models, you don't even have to slice it. You can download the G-code directly to an SD card and print it. G-codes also allow us to have a pretty unique filtering system. In this panel on the left, you can filter models by how long they take to print, or by how much filament they'll consume. Now of course you can still share STLs, but as we'll show you on this model, it's even better to share FreeMF files. Unlike STL, FreeMF includes not only the model geometry, it can actually include multiple models with their proper orientation and position on the print bed, but also all of slicer settings including custom supports, modifier meshes, or variable layer height settings. So when you download it, you can either generate a G-code with one click, or you can change any of the settings, like the filament you want to print with. In newer versions of our slicer, you can create a FreeMF file by clicking File, Save Project. Let's try to upload the model. We implemented a really handy feature where you can place all of the files into a single zip archive and the server will automatically put everything where it belongs. Or you can just drag and drop the files in any order to the orange box. You can also upload files like STEP, Blender files or 3DS. You should pick a category that best describes your model. And you can add text to help the search engine find your model. When you upload G-codes, our G-Code Analyzer will extract useful information from it and fill the forms for you. 
you also have to pick license. And then you can either leave the print as a draft and publish it later, or toggle the switch and publish it right away. The whole model info can be downloaded as PDF, which could come in handy. When you download and print someone else's model, you can rate it. This is really important, we analyze the uploaded G-codes, but nothing beats the real experience of printing it. I emphasize rating after you print the part. There is a timeout on the page that prevents you from rating it right away after downloading it. We'll send you a notification when the estimated printing time has elapsed. By the way, the main project should always have only one G-code or one set of G-codes if it consists of multiple parts. If you want to slice your own model with different settings, for example for a different filament, upload the alternative version as a user G-code. This way the filtering system can properly count the print time and the material used, in case the model consists of multiple G-codes. When you download a FreeMF or an STL and you generate your own G-codes, you can upload them back as a user print file, ideally after you successfully printed them. Just describe what makes your version distinct. And these are rated as well. Moving on, there's the forum, which was previously on a separate page, but now it's neatly together with everything else. And then there's the blog, which is where we share news and post interesting tutorials. And also on the blog is where you'll find the calculator and the color print apps. And that's pretty much it for the current beta version. Now, of course, there are many features that we're still working on and that are coming in the future. Collections, remixes, organizing events, support for SLA prints, tipping and much more. So, what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments what feature would you like to see on Prusa printers. And as always, happy printing!